guys, I'm so glad that you're joining me today here on my channel, Time to Cook. However, I'm not cooking today. I am cleaning out my fridge. So I was asked to do a video on how long you can keep leftovers or open jars or bottles of condiments, sauces, jellies, and things like that. And it is time for me to do my own refrigerator, kind of go through everything. So I thought I would walk through that with you. So I have done a lot of research and I have come up with a list for you, starting with the shortest amount of time that you can keep something in your refrigerator to the longest. But I want to say I am not an expert on this. Uh, there is a lot of varying information out there and it can be a bit confusing. So the best rule of thumb I would say is when in doubt, throw it out. However, I will say that I have kept things in my refrigerator longer than recommended. I think we've all done that. Uh, this is just a basic safety guideline. You are the best judge of when to throw something out. Starting with three to five days, your leftovers. Okay, so for instance, this right here is a leftover hamburger with potatoes and broccoli. I just made this last night. So this will be good for up to three to five days. However, after three days, it won't be as fresh, but I never have to worry about that in my house. We eat leftovers really good. This will probably be eaten today or tomorrow. So if you know that you're not going to eat all your leftovers, you can always freeze it. For instance, I made a big pot of chili. We ate on that for a couple days. I knew we weren't gonna finish it. So I just took what was left and froze it in this freezer Ziploc bag, froze it flat. And yeah, this is gonna be great for one of those quick meals later. Five to seven days is your fresh produce, such as lettuce and berries and your fresh sauces. So we actually have several jars here of opened sauces um, and these have been in here longer than they should. So I'm actually going to be throwing these away. That's kind of sad. Yeah. One to two weeks is your jarred pesto or your jarred spaghetti or pizza sauce and your fresh produce uh, such as carrots, celery, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, produce like that. So here's a little tip for you. If you have open jars of pizza sauce or spaghetti sauce and you don't use it all, you can freeze that. Just put it in little Ziploc bags and pop it in your freezer and then you'll have it um, the next time you want to make pizza or add it to a spaghetti sauce. It's handy. Two to three months is mayonnaise, tartar sauce, and salad dressings that include mayo or that are labeled as creamy. Okay guys, it's time to go through my dressings. This always kind of makes me a little sad. Um, I have this poppy seed dressing here uh, and it's been in here a long time. I'm sure it's been in here too long. Uh, and I also have this creamy French here and it's also been in here a long time. Now the date on this is, uh, the expiration date is January 8th, 2021. Um, but it's been opened a lot longer than that. So I'm throwing these away. I also have some uh, honey mustard dipping sauce that I made and this has mayonnaise in it. So I'm going to uh, get rid of this also. And then I also have some, uh, <laughs> I have some veganese, which is vegan mayonnaise. Um, this has been in here for over a year. <laughs> Don't judge me. I know it's, it's time for this to go. Bye-bye. <laughs> so I know I'm not going to be covering this, but this is some homemade chocolate sauce that I made uh, probably last summer. So it's time for this to go. <laughs> Three to four months is prepared horseradish or your barbecue sauces. Six to nine months is ketchup, cocktail sauce, Asian sauces, and vinaigrettes. Okay, so I have a bottle of cocktail sauce that has been in my refrigerator for a very, very long time. Um, kind of embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> the expiration is January 28th, 2020. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is going in the trash. So sadly, I have this aged balsamic dressing that has been in here way too long and it's got to go. So I have a bottle here of the General So's Asian sauce. 
There's not a lot of it left. It's been in here a very long time, so I'm gonna get rid of it too. Um, and also have some of this teriyaki sauce. I really hate to get rid of this though, cause it's almost a full bottle, but I don't remember how long it's been in here. I'm thinking this is still good. I just can't get rid of this yet. Putting it back. Okay, last thing one year is your capers that are brined, mustard, pickles, relish, soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, pure maple syrup, olives that are jarred or canned, and your jams and jellies. Does anybody else do this? I just have like one little tablespoon of relish left. It's still good. I'm gonna keep it. So I, I know that this, <laughs> this jelly is, um, been in here a very long time. Uh, I'm always sad to throw out jelly because jelly does really last a very, very long time, but I'm going to have to pitch this one. And then I have some, uh, key lime marmalade that has been in here for, I have no idea. I, I would, it's been in here longer than a year, maybe two. I don't know, but it's, it's a little tiny jar that's kind of gotten shoved in the back and forgot about. So yeah, I'm gonna throw this away too. So I'm not sure if you knew or not, but you should keep your pure maple syrup in the refrigerator. It just keeps it fresher longer. Okay, so lasting the longest at two years is your hot sauces. So the hot sauces win on the longest amount of time that you can keep them in the refrigerator. I said two years, but I actually found uh, some sites that say that you can keep these for up to five years. And it's just because they are a vinegar based sauce and vinegar pretty much lasts forever. So I have a tip for you that I found in doing all of my research. And I will admit that I do not do this, but I think I'm gonna start because I think it's excellent, excellent tip. And that is to write the date of the jar or the bottle when you open it. And then you will know how long it's been in your refrigerator. You cannot look at the expiration date. You need to know when that jar was opened. Now, if there was a nice little way to keep a Sharpie on your refrigerator, and I'm sure there is, um, that would be handy just to have one on your refrigerator. So as soon as you open it, you can just write that date on the jar. So I know that I did not cover dairy, but like your milk, for instance, it has the expiration date and you know when your milk goes bad because it stinks. Um, also your cheese. Uh, cheese is one of those things that can last for several weeks, but if you're concerned that your cheese may go bad, you can freeze your cheese. And here is a tip for you also. If you're going to be slicing or grating your cheese, wear gloves because the oils on your finger cause that cheese to mold a lot faster and also your like sour cream heavy cream things like that they all have expiration dates so just follow those your lunch meats they also have expiration dates and you can always do a little smell check if it smells bad it's bad so i hope that this video was helpful i know that i did not cover everything so if you have a question about an item uh, just curious about how long it will last in the refrigerator, just leave me a comment uh, below and I will definitely try to find the answer for you. I'm also going to leave a long clip of the list that I made and you can screenshot that uh, so that you can have it for future reference. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon with a delicious recipe.